Hi again, everyone. Uh, so I'm getting started in a couple minutes. I want to thank, got a couple contributions overnight. Thank you so much. I got one um, set up a monthly, a monthly recurring. Those are always awesome. They really are. They help out tremendously. Um, we're pretty close to breaking even, uh, breaking even um, and being in a really good spot. We're about close to about, about a hundred bucks away. So hopefully we can make that up, make that today, and then be a really be in a really good position going forward. Um, <laughs> you know, there's been a couple comments in the comment. There's been a couple comments on these videos that somehow, not that somehow, that I am attacking these women's looks and that it's unfair and yada yada. And again, you don't want to, you don't judge a book by its cover, but there are times you can just see through it. There are certain looks at a certain age and understand, I got it. I'm 51 year old man with a man bun hitting a vape. I got it. I know. I know. Okay. But I'm not rubbing this in anybody's faces. It's, it, it, it's much different than the situation where we had, you know, yesterday with, you know, I don't know if anonymous is, is the daughter or not. You know, it was a vague email. I, I replied to that. She hasn't replied back. So I don't know. But again, I didn't coin the phrase dick sucking necklace. I, the, the, the dick sucking black belt that's been around for 20 years. I didn't coin it. Okay, and a necklace like that, if you got a child, and if you're in your 50s, okay, you're going to put a certain stigma on yourself as someone who is trying to steal youth. Having, a, having long hair or tied up in a bun or having your hair long isn't necessarily a young person's thing. Yeah, it's something more younger people do, but it's not a young person's thing. Having, having Wearing a necklace that has a stigma to it and I'm not saying everybody who wears a wire choker, you know, you're you, you're a you're a dome expert, okay. But from the position of being a mother, if that is your mother, would you want your mother being seen wearing that? Would you want your mother walking around looking like that? That is the point. It shows a certain selfishness, okay. Plenty of parents have long hair. Plenty of parents have man bun. I got it. I got it. And it's an odd thing. And I've explained the man bun thing. First of all, I like it. I get a lot of compliments on it. And I'll tell you the other reason why I wear And I've told you the other reason why I wear it. It's because you know my politics. You know, you, if you followed me, you know I'm a conservative. I live, even though I live in Florida, I live in a blue county in a blue area where, you know, it's heavily liberal, heavily liberal. And the thing about liberals and the thing about these Marxists and communists or Democrats, whatever, they are what they accuse everyone else of being. They are the ones who judge every book by its cover. They see me, they see the man bun, and they automatically assume I think exactly like them. And look, when I have a background of working undercover for many, many years because of my job, okay, it's blending in, it's just what I do. And when people think that you think the same way, they tell you exactly who they are. They tell you exactly who they are and what they're planning for you. And nothing makes me happier. Nothing makes me happier when one of these people is spouting off about their, you know, trying to commiserate with me about, you know, whether it be Trump or, or you know, what's going on in society in general and these evil Republicans or these evil conservatives or these Nazis or this or that and the other thing. And then they realize that I am what they're, the, the, I am the person they're trying to, they're talking about, like the look of confusion and almost betrayal 
that they give me. Oh, it's, it's so heartwarming. It's so heartwarming. I told the story about the woman at, at the bank when I was in there. I was in there. I, was, uh, I think I was getting a cashier's check or I was, getting, I was either depositing something or getting... I'm, uh, I'm at the teller and this boomer woman comes comes to the teller next to me and she says and she says something oh but they oh the, the the teller told her that was it the teller told her that she didn't have to wear masks anymore and she's like no 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 i'm gonna wear it she's like and she looked around she looked at everybody now in the bank i was at every every all the workers there were minority mostly um mostly caribbean haitian and a couple of of latinos okay and then she looked at me, looked to the right. I think I was the only I was the only white guy in there. I think Charlene might have been with me. I'm not sure. I don't I don't know if she was. I can't remember if she was or she wasn't. She looked at me. She looked around, and she's like, "No, no, I'll I'll keep it on." She's like, "I don't want anybody thinking I'm a Republican." And then she's looking around for approval, and I just looked dead at her. I'm like, "I'm a Republican." And she like just looked the, the, dead on at the man bun, like how dare you? I'm like, I go, I'm a Republican. Now what? I'm like, you think what's happening now is good? Good? I'm like, you happy with the condition of the country right now? She's like, oh, it's better than it was. It's better than it was. I'm like, really? How are those gas prices? She goes, oh, I love them. I love them. Do you now? Do you now? I'm like you're everything that you accuse that you accuse my side of being. You came in, you looked at all these people, you thought you see that you see a bunch of brown people, and you assume they all think like you, and they might, and they might, but you just assume it. You just assume it, and you look at me, and you look at the man bun, and you think I'm a liberal like them, and you just assume it. And you expose yourself. So that's the other reason why. But I do like it. But again, when I'm going after narcissists, when I'm being the narc bully, understand these people give off an aura. They give off a, a, a vibe that I can pick up on immediately. As an investigator, like you can pick up up on vibes from people you either have it or you don't it's like another it's a six it's a sixth sense it really is the same vibe that would that would have you start surveilling somebody as soon as they walk in the store like when i was working for me season you're on camera and you're watching the doors and you start just keying on somebody as they're walking in the door because they're giving off a vibe and it's not a racial vibe. It's not an age vibe. It's just something that's there that clues you in to watch them. So, and that's what I do with these people. Okay. I'm not judging them because I hate women or, or anything. I know what they are. I can see most of the time I can see right through them from the get go. So I wanted to clear that up. I wanted to clear that up before I got started, but I am getting started. I have a couple videos. I got a couple videos in the queue to do. I think I'm going to start off with a couple clips from Dr. Phil, even though he's a douche and I don't like him. I found a couple that are pretty pertinent to what I've been talking about lately. Um, other than that, I'm going to be pulling other stuff from my queue. I don't have any narcissism stories. I'd really like to get some in. And again, like we're really close to breaking even again. So we're about a hundred bucks, hundred bucks short. And hopefully, you know, hopefully we can get through that today, do a little better, and then start building from there. So um, thank you to everybody who contributed and continues to contribute. I really appreciate it. And again, if you appreciate this channel, if you're getting something from this channel, if you're enjoying this channel, please support it. Because what I've shown you the last couple of weeks is th the people that are your abusers or like your abusers are trying to take over the space. So support channels, support my channel, support channels like mine. Otherwise, the people you have spent so long getting away from are going to take over our movement, take over our spaces. 
and I'm going to leave it there. You guys know what to do with the links in the description box, Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, and I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Thanks again, everybody. Take care.